Hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I have a simple idea with fake fire and water and what we will do you will see as always after my intro. Let's start with my picture idea and I got my picture idea because I was watching all the images on my PC and I found this image here I did years ago and I was thinking okay the effect is well cool but the style is not anymore 2021 style and let's do it cooler and hotter and this is now my picture idea to get a glass object in the center and instead of a light bulb I will use my lens ball because I love the upside down effect if you watch with through a lens ball but if you don't have a lens ball you can also use a light bulb I think the effect will be also very cool or a different glass object as your center of your image and then I like to have a fire lava effect around your lens ball because I like to have it hot and fire image and I think we can change the water effect into a lava effect I hope this looks cool, actually I don't know it, but I think this is my picture idea to get a glass object in the center and to get a hot and fire surrounding. So let's go ahead with the material I will use for my picture. Yes, of course, my first item will be the glass ball. And if you don't have a glass ball, you can use a light bulb or a different glass object you like to place in the center of your image. And then the second item will be a pedestal. And for pedestal, I use this espresso mark here. I love the shape and the optic. And if you don't have this special mark, you can use also a different mark or a different pedestal you like to. And on top of this, coffee espresso mark here on this pedestal I will place a normal fancy ring and on top of this ring I can place my glass ball and now my glass ball don't run away if I shoot it with water and this is very cool and then my underground will be a big bowl that I can make a water mess later on with my splashes and if I shoot my glass ball all the splashes will be catched up in this bowl that I don't make a big mess on my table here that I don't have to clean it all the time and then my water will be normal tape water and then I use the craft syringe here to make the splashes and for light I have two flashes and to get the fire effect I have here some color folds in orange and red I used it later on on my flashes and in the background I have a big screen and on this big screen I have images of fire on it and I think now we get a cool fire surrounding a special tip for me if you like to have a cold image like if you like to have a, a frozen nature in the background don't use red color use blue color later on on your flashes and you get a cool frozen image or if you like to have a jungle in the background and then use green and yellow folds and then you get a cool jungle effect and i think you can be very creative later on with different codes and different backgrounds but my idea is now to get a lava and hot effect because of these i used of course orange and red and for your creativity there are no limits my camera will be the Olympus only one mark to the one who's filming me right now and i will take my pictures with the cable remote switch and my lens will be the 60 millimeter macro lens from Olympus but I don't like to take pictures in a macro area I need it only because of the distance between glass ball and camera because if I'm too close with my camera to the glass ball I will see the complete reflection of my hands of my camera inside the glass ball and to avoid it I need a bigger distance because of these is a 60 millimeter macro lens very helpful because I have a bigger distance between my glass ball and my camera to avoid or minimize the reflections of me and my camera inside the glass ball and then I think we can go ahead with my setup my setup is very simple. First I have placed my bowl on my table and in the center of my bowl I have placed my pedestal. It means I have placed my 
Espresso mark upside down in the center of the bowl and on top I have placed my ring and on top of the ring I have placed my glass bowl and in the background I have placed my big screen and on my screen is shown a picture of a fire and I have took pictures from Unsplash, it's a free image provider and my tip don't take pictures from Google or somewhere else on the internet because it can be very expensive and you can get trouble with the law so take only pictures from a free stock provider or your own pictures for the background and then I have placed my flashes in the background and I have also placed my colorfuls on top of it and now you can arrange the flashes around your bowl if you like to and you can also see the reflections uh, in your glass ball and if you change the position of the flashes you will also see the position of the reflections will be changed and my tip search an area where the reflections will be cool looking in the image and now you have to take your camera place it on a tripod and now you can take your pictures and now you can use the syringe and make some water splashes and also take your picture in the same time and then you can also additionally use your e-cigarette and make some smoke effect around the glass ball and I think now we can go ahead with my camera setting. Let's go ahead with my camera settings and my camera settings are as follows. I choose the manual mode focused manually and of course I switched off the image stabilization because I did my pictures with a tripod iPod and with the remote switch and my ISO was by 640 and my exposure time was between 100th and 1 320th and my aperture was between 1.8 and 8 and my flashes fired up was 132. And now I will show you my quick and dirty image editing in Lightroom. First I crop my image and then I played around with the clarity, saturation, dynamic and also the temperature and of course the basic settings and additional if you like to get a more warm or crispy look you can also use uh, selective color corrections and in the end I used a small vignette and this is all my editing. I hope you liked my tutorial and if yes, please leave me a comment below, subscribe my channel and thumbs up. This will make me very happy and I think we will see us in the future very soon. And now I wish you good luck. Ciao!